What was the homework assignment? Onions and garlic. Onions and garlic. <coughs> and depth. Yeah. yeah, so the idea was to try to get the viewer from the beginning of the painting to the back. So if this is your painting here, you wanted to have objects in the front and lead you back instead of having just eye magnets going around your seat. So let's just see how those turned out. So your, your challenge was this long canvas. Right. Okay, so it doesn't give you like a sense of a lot of depth. No. But in that process, were you thinking about eye magnets? Okay. And which and direction is the light back, coming from? Back from over here. Yes. And why would you have the light coming from this side? We do care. <laughs> um, but why would you have the light coming from the right side? Because when I laid it down on the, on the table that I had, when the light was there, I'd have to move the light all the way around. So you told me you got lucky. <laughs> like, that's where it landed. Right. Okay, that's not very powerful. <laughs> Okay. I didn't have being, lu being lucky is wonderful when you're in Vegas, but not in painting. You want to be able to like, okay. The response was, your central focal point's on the right. If your object's on the right, your light needs to come from the left or vice versa. Well, it, it is from the right, and the, and the objects are on the left. Yeah. So the answer when I say, why did you bring the light over here? Because you said your central focal point was the well, garlic. I originally thought the focal point was going to be the onion, but then later I said, because I took a photo my photo was so good. I said, okay, oh, okay. Photo. Let's good. change our talk real quick. Okay. okay. Now you're new, right? Yes. Jean, right? Yes. Okay. So what's the central focal point? Where the light is. Where, where, where the light hits. Land. Yeah, where the light lands. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you said your central focal point was the onions and garlic. So how would she, how would she rephrase that? No, doesn't matter. How would you rephrase that? Remember the light on your tree? My central focal point is what? The light on the tree. Yeah, the light on the tree, not the tree. Right. So, so the central focal point would be the light on the garlic, not the garlic. Or the onion. Okay, so it's the light. Right. Okay, so when I say what's the central focal point, you would always say the effect or the light or something like that. It's not the object itself, otherwise you're painting things. So it would be the light hitting the garlic on this side. That would be your central focal point. The effect of light. That's more interesting. Nobody needs a painting of this. I could go into a thrift shop and find 15 paintings of garlic that people don't want because they're things. But if you did this beautifully, everybody will want it. Okay. So it's the lighting on this garlic, and if you've ever seen garlic lit beautifully, it's wonderful stuff. Okay, so it would be that. And then if your central focal point's on the left side of the painting, you would want, if the central focal point's on the left side of the painting, I've got a, a dyslexic, so I have to, over here, then you want the light on this side. Now if your central focal point, let's say, is the light on the onion, then the, the light would come the opposite direction. So there's no accident involved. So you just happen to have been lucky. Should have bought a lottery ticket. Okay, so the light comes this way, hits this, and everything's in shadow. Okay, that would be awesome. Then eye magnets, see how you curve this? Wonderful eye magnets. So what we have here is a perfect stage for something to happen. It's not happening right now. Okay. Well, I never went back to work on it anymore. So what's missing in this painting? More. Well, yeah, you need to do that, but what's missing is more time. So like, you know, if, if you go, if I say, so what's missing in the painting? Don't look for things that are wrong or things that, just say, what's missing is just more time. I didn't have enough time, okay? And then that way, that way you feel powerful in that conversation, you know, that the painting's not done, there's nothing defeated. So my advice is when you get back into it again, remember that the, the light on the garlic is what's important, not the garlics. Everything else needs to kind of go into shadow or become soft. The central focal point, these were things that I was talking to the students with out there. You know, they, I would say, where's your central focal point in your painting? And they would go, oh, the rock on the water over there. And I'd go, rocks are things, that can't be a central focal point. And they go, well, then the splash. And I go, no, that can't be a central focal point either. And they would say, and these, 
some of them had yellow hats. Okay, so some of these guys were like pretty good artists. So don't feel bad that, you know, you, this isn't seeping in. It's a difficult concept. But in order to create great art, you have to get out of painting the things. You know, if you think about writing a story, you have to imagine what the end story will be. You know, you can almost imagine Harry Potter, the lady who wrote Harry Potter. She already has kind of an idea of what she wants to happen before she starts. And then she spends time crafting it. The, the um, symphony by Tchaikovsky, the 1812 symphony by Tchaikovsky, he didn't sit there and go, hmm, I think I'm going to take this waltz and put a cannon in it, you know? He started off with marches and army people, and, you know, and he said, I'm going to build it up so they kind of hear, da -da 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 -da. and you can hear them coming up over the hill. And he brings it, and all of a sudden, at the end, boom, bang, bing, bing, bells, and all this stuff. But he crafted that. Spielberg crafted, he thought, what would it be like if a spaceship landed and forgot some, one of their, their crew? And it was lost, and some kids found him. What would that be like? And the whole movie for E.T. was crafted at that point. You're crafting a painting. So this is your, these are your elements in here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to craft the lighting effect. You're going to craft and go, you know, it's going to be a soft light. You ever see a Vermeer painting? Venice. It's a coastal town. And half or three quarters of the time it's what? Foggy. Okay. And, you know, you think of the ocean and it's misty and that. And so the women are all standing in front of windows probably dirty windows, or you know, windows that are not even really that transparent at that time. And they're standing there doing what human people do, is absorbing the light. You know, the, the heat in these cold rooms, you can imagine how those rooms are cold and dark and damp, in the, you know, with water around them. So the light coming into the rooms would change the temperature of the rooms, make them warmer <coughs> so people would be in the light. And he created that, and he didn't create like Arizona desert light. It's a soft light. Here you could put hard light in. It could be fake light. It could be light from a window. That's, that's your story. What kind of light? Is it, all, is it a fused light? Is it a reflective light? That's part of the story. Is it a bright light or is it a simmer light? Did somebody just open up the door of the kitchen and there's just a little tiny beam of light? That's much more interesting than everything flat. And then, how does the light kind of fall across those? Okay? And how does the shadows go up into the light to craft the shapes? Now, since this is our central focal point, and again, this is what I was telling the people out there. I was going, you know, they were talking about edges. And all weekend, and this was the thing that got them really crazy out there, is that um, we were talking about edges. And I sat there and I said, where do you think edges are in the painting? And I was sitting there watching demo people going, well, soften the edges over here, soften the edges over here, but nobody said why. And so I told them why. I mean, and so in my 10 minute spiel, I'd go, in the central focal point here, you'd have all of the sharp edges because the eye can only see that. You don't see sharp edges over here because the eye can't see that, especially when it's in shadow. So all of this here needs to be softer edged. Yeah, okay. My photo looks exactly like my photo. Well, you're not a you're you're That's not a beautiful a, photo. Sure, but the thing is, photography isn't art. Photography is a mechanical device that recreates a mechanical inspiration. Art is a human emotion. It's like, have you ever heard of the mechanical music? You know, computers can produce. Mechanical music, does it sound like it's produced by a human? Does it even, when you listen to a band organ or a player piano, does that sound human? It's mechanical. Photography is mechanical. You can, you can put it through Photoshop all you want. It's still a mechanical interpretation. It's not a human expression. Humans are different. We see things. Our brains 
we, we look at something and we evaluate it and we make a, a decision about it. And we need to know what's in our brains to be able to recreate the human experience. So it's copying a picture is futile because it's not what the human experiences. A camera will, especially new digital cameras, will put everything into focus. But when you look at me, I'm in focus, but this isn't. When you look at me, the back wall is out of focus. When you look at me, and I was doing this to people out in the, I'd say, look at me. And I'd say, do you see my vest? And they go, no. And I go, I go, exactly. Because all the human eye can see is that. And I go, look at me. And they'd look at me and I go, can you see both my eyes at one time? And they go, no. <laughs> and I go, exactly. We can only see this much. So the only place you would have focus is there. One spot. I like it. The way it is. That's my problem. I don't see what you're saying and I like it. That's it good. Is. That's fine. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. My results. So I have a tough time doing what you say you want me to do because I like it. Like okay. It That's good. <clears throat> That's, that's fine. That's, that's me. That's kind of like when I was helping the gal at the ocean and she was putting paint on and I go, now, if you, do, if you don't apply the new things for possibility, you don't know what you could create out of that. So, you know, my job is not to, to uh, change the way you paint. My job is for you to think about a new way of painting. Right. Okay. So our new way of seeing, understanding how we see, that's really what we're after. Okay? Okay. So.